Hi there. So today I'm going to teach you how to make my famous cabbage dish. I have a St. Patrick's Day event coming up and all of my friends are begging me to bring this dish. So if you have something coming up and you need a very convenient, quick, easy and delicious dish to make, it's for you. Okay, so over here I have a piece of pancetta. I like to use pancetta instead of bacon. You can use even wine, but I like pancetta more because it is more of a lean type of meat. It has less fat than bacon does, but whatever you like more, you do you, it doesn't matter. Like, so just go ahead and cut some very thin pieces. One pro tip is cutting it when it's still kind of a bit frozen. It's easier to make like clean cuts. But otherwise, you can do whatever it's easier for you. Okay, so now on the other ingredients, as you may have guessed, we're using cabbage. Surprise, surprise. Um, I'm gonna use about half an onion, half a white onion, and then some three to four garlic cloves. This really depends on how much you love garlic. I do love my garlic, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, you need some ground mustard. It's very important. It's a very good quality ground mustard. That's what I would recommend. Regular mustard will do, but we don't taste this great. Yeah, so then I'm going in with some black pepper, some paprika. This is essential as well. And then one to two tablespoons of butter will do. You can use whichever spices you like, of course. It is just like my way of doing it. I really like the taste going in this plastic, very minimal way. But you can add as many spices as you like. So with that being said, let's get to it. So we're gonna start by cutting our cabbage in squared like pieces, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So you just go ahead and do what you can. <laughs> now today I'll be using half a white onion, but if you're doing the whole cabbage, then I would suggest you do the whole onion as well. So right now we're just gonna chop some garlic cloves. We want this to be somewhat in the thinner side. Now let's cook our pancetta. If you're using bacon, that will probably get you more of the oils and the fats out. But because I'm using pancetta, I will be adding the butter. Once our pancetta or bacon is golden and crispy on the outside, we're gonna remove it and get the onions and garlic cooking. About 30 seconds after, we're gonna add one tablespoon of ground mustard. Then we add some paprika to your liking, then some pepper and finally some salt. Once we give that a good mix, we can incorporate our cabbage. Now we'll just cook this for about five minutes in medium heat and stir once in a while just to get all the spices and the ground mustard together with the cabbage. About three minutes in, we're gonna add our pancetta and I left some of it on the side to garnish at the end. And now we need to plate it. I used to use some paprika and some cilantro on top. I like eating mine with some plain crackers and all I have to say is you need to make this right now. It's so good.